one of the manliest I've felt in a long time, having to chop some wood for dinner. Woo! One of them hit me! Did it really? Yeah! <laughs> After spending a few days in the city of Zurich, celebrating National Day, floating down the river with locals, and eating way too much cheese, it was finally time to leave the city and head into the Swiss Alps. So we woke up bright and early to head to the train station. Today we are traveling south to the town of St. Moritz, where we will be hiking into the mountains to be one of the first people to stay in an incredible tiny home built by Ann. Catch our next train. Go, 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 go. I don't know how we always do this to ourselves. <laughs> For 122 wonderful kilometers from Tuzis to Tirano, the line takes us over 196 bridges and through 55 tunnels. Or is this the most beautiful train journey you've ever been on? The top three most beautiful spots in That one. We are just starting our two hour hike up to the tiny home. We have everything that we're gonna need for the next 24 hours on our backs. <sighs> Feeling strong. <Whoop>. <laughs> <laughs> So there are actually no roads that lead to this tiny home. And the only way to get there is by hiking straight up a mountain. And as you can tell from all the sweat, we are well into our hike. The views are absolutely incredible. So we are gaining 700 meters in elevation on this hike. It's about five and a half kilometers. We're pretty much going straight up, which is great. I need this exercise because for the last two nights, we've eaten a pot of cheese for dinner. We've made it about halfway up the trail and we are just now getting our first glimpse of the hut. We are almost there and it looks so cool perched up there on top of the hill. This is insane! The whole front of it is a window. We have We didn't make it here without some effort. Ah, I've never sweat like this before. Wow, <laughs> totally worth it. So before we go inside, we're actually going up to a spring to collect all of the water that we need for the night in this bag. It has a little filter down on the bottom of it, but apparently it's so clean that we don't even need the filter. All right, here we go. That's crazy. So this spring that we're drinking out of right here is actually the start of the Inn River, which eventually turns into the Danube and then ultimately ends up in the Black Sea. The water that I don't collect in this bag is gonna end up in the Black Sea. And this is, this is the start of it. Okay, we're about to go in our tiny home for the first time. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love the smell. Yeah. Okay. So, welcome. It's going to be your home for tonight. Yes. Home sweet home. Look. So okay. this whole place got here via helicopter, including the wine. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was our new friend, Micah. She basically brought us up here, showed us how to use everything, and now we're on our own in our tiny home. <laughs> Are you excited? I could not be more excited. This place is incredible. Where do we start?
Okay, we're all settled in, so we're gonna give you a quick, proper tour of the whole place. I can already tell you, I'm a fan of the tiny home, and I want one. So right now, we're in the living room, slash dining room, slash hangout area. Whatever you wanna do in your house can happen right here. This is the kitchen area. Here's our stove. It doubles as a heater for the house, so Nate will have to chop some wood and put it in here. Woo! We'll light it up. It'll cook our dinner and most importantly, make our coffee in the morning. Some kitchen supplies here. This is the ladder up to the master bedroom. This wall is basically all storage. So we have some firewood, fire supplies, cutlery. I don't even think there's anything up there. It's heaps of space. And then this whole wall is also storage. So we have our pots and pans, our food and coffee, dishes, a few random things. But the coolest thing in here, USB chargers from solar power. So there are solar panels on the roof that charge these plugs and the lights. And then there's some more stuff in here, like cleaning stuff. And now we're in the shower slash kitchen area. <laughs> Sink, this is the water we got straight from the stream earlier. It'll help us clean our dishes. You can take a shower in here. Props not showering tonight because I think this water's kind of cold. And our drinking water and our cooking water. Bathroom's this way. Probably the best view from a toilet. We are keeping the bathroom locked so random hikers don't come use our potty. Hey, here's the toilet tour. It is a special compost toilet. You do your business and then they have this special dirt and you just sprinkle it on top. Pretty fancy. There's also an automatic light that comes on when you walk in here when it's dark outside. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna leave the door open. This is the view that you have when you're sitting on the toilet. Not too bad. She actually told us during the day there might be some hikers going by, so we may not want to leave the door wide open. I think I'm gonna risk it though. And last but not least, we have what is without a doubt the best room in the house. I mean, really, could you get a better view from a bedroom? The sun rises like right outside of this window, so we don't even have to get out of bed, we just roll over, sunrise. Sounds like my kind of sunrise. <laughs> this is so incredible. I I'm feel really so lucky it. to have the opportunity to do this. I wish we could stay for a week, like sitting up here, reading books, not having our computers. We left all of our electronics, besides <laughs> the camera obviously, at the bottom of the mountain. And I can't remember the last time we didn't go to bed on our computers. It's great, because we actually can't work. Like, I'm so excited and I'm so grateful for this one night, even though we're already complaining <laughs> that it's not more. So the house itself is great, but what makes it really incredible is just where it's built. We are literally on top of a mountain. They had to fly in all of the supplies and it just feels like something that shouldn't exist. All right, the sun just set behind the mountain and it is dinner time. We are having pasta with handmade noodles from Italy because we're really close to the border. Pesto. Yummy olive oil, and we went to the store and bought a few more things to hike in. Swiss cheese and Swiss salami, some bread from the bakery, this traditional Swiss nut tart, and the wine and nuts that they left for us. Plus there's a candle. I am so excited. I'm ready to whip up some dinner as long as Nate can get the fire started. I think it's going pretty well. That's a fire. She told us that because we're at almost 8,000 feet, there's not as much oxygen in the air, and so it could be harder to start the fire, but we'll close and see if it does. Boom! Pasta time! And of course, we stocked up on some Swiss chocolate. All right, we are celebrating that we made fire and we're gonna eat tonight. It's funny how simple things can feel so fancy. We had cheese fondue in a square in Zurich last night and paid a lot of money for it. And somehow this feels just as fancy. Like this is just as enjoyable to me. Good work, Kara. perfect night. I really don't know if it could have been any better. Sunset was beautiful. It was supposed to rain this afternoon and it didn't. I never want this night to end.
Not a bad view to drink coffee too. Good morning. Goodbye, Mountain Hut. I'm so sad to leave this beautiful place, but it's time to hike back down. The weather could not be any better. Two hours later, we are almost back down to the road, but in order to get there, we have to hike through this tiny mountain village. It's called Heideldorf, and fun fact, apparently this is the town where the movie Heidi was based, but apparently there's another town nearby that thinks that they're the Heidi town, so they're kind of in a disagreement about that. Hey guys. Go back to the ladder. Bro. Go back to the ladder. <laughs> Not sure what we would do if we stayed more than one night, but I'm already sad that we have to leave tomorrow. Yeah. I can think I of think... things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like go on a swim, go on a hike, read a book. <laughs> I thought we tried to keep things family friendly on this channel. <laughs> we do! <laughs> Apparently the wood that goes in the oven needs to be pretty small. There we go, don't embarrass yourself. Woo! You need some protective goggles! I close my eyes. <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>